Hi guys and welcome back to I got another review for you. This one is very late. <laughs> There's no other way of describing it. Um, it is the Noisy Cricket from Wismac and J Bo. Um, I have had this for months, but I just haven't had a chance to review it. So this is my chance. It's only going to be a quick video because there's not too much to it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we'll dive down straight away. Have a look at it. I say have a look what's in the box, but really this is that. Uh, this is all that comes in the box. Um, but you know, I'll show it to you anyway, just to see what you're actually getting for your money. And um, yeah, we'll dive down right now. See you in a second. Okay, so this is the box that the Noisy Cricket comes in. Um, just a hardback um, plastic box, Perspex box. Uh, sticker on the side, both sides to keep it secure. Um, and just on the back, it just says, uh, it's just a quick, uh, quick guide really. Um, rapid as assembly, uh, fire button, two 18650 batteries. Um, just tells you which way to put them round. Obviously one positive being up towards the 510 and negative facing up towards the fire button. Um, it doesn't say anything else really, which I really think it should. Um, if you... You ain't going to be able to see that too much. Just see if that will zoom in. No, too dark. Maybe. Okay, um, so, you know, there, there's no instructions with this, unfortunately. So, literally, you'll just get the mod in the box and nothing else. It doesn't tell you about the um, ohms range that it hits, which is, I think, 0.6 to 0.25. Um, and... If you do go any higher or any lower, it really is at your own risk. Um, I wouldn't recommend it myself. So that's the box just now. Um, and this is the main unit. Now, it doesn't come in this. Uh, this is satin grey. No, satin, satin silver. Um, this is just a wrap that I put on it just to protect it, keep it new. It is a brushed aluminium finish on this. Um, the bottom piece... You've got your venting holes just there, six of them, and the screw. Now, in the but you can take this fully apart. In the bottom here is just a little pivot, um, or how would we explain it? Um, it's just like a seesaw in there, really. So once one battery goes in, and then you uh, put the other battery in, when you fire it, it just tilts it towards the um, the bottom center pin, really, the five ten. Uh, you can just take these off. This is the button. Which is just there. I know you can adjust this via this Allen key here. So you can adjust the throw of the actual fire button, which is nice. Um, threads, very smooth. Had, haven't had any problems with it. It is a bit fiddly to get the other side out. There is this little slit here where you can stick a coin in or your nail if you prefer. And just take that off. Now this battery, you really can put the batteries in anyway, really. You know, there's no reason why uh, that can't be the 510 end or that be the 510 end. There's no real difference. I don't think you're going to be able to see in there too tough. But there is a little um, board or a little bit of metal that balances backwards and forwards in there. You can actually hear that rattling around. So if we put some batteries in here, just to give you an idea. So just some... Uh, 25R Samsungs. Now, usually you'd put them in your mod, both positives facing upwards. Now, in this, it's going to be the reverse. So, if we put the negative just there and the positive up there, and you can actually see that pivot board moving those batteries up and down. So, it's like a little seesaw effect just there. Um, so, as I said, your negative just there. So, that's the end of the battery. Um, that the switch will go on and then the other end which is just here and it does say Wismec on there as well which is quite nice uh, just grab the RDA which I'm using as I said the uh, JBO indestructible so just putting that down on that piece first just to make sure that that does protrude if I can get that in focus just get that so it's um sticking out slightly you don't want it to be flush at all i wouldn't suggest using a normal tank on this do make sure that the 510 is adjustable so you can bring it out a little bit um and then just screw that onto the positive side so negative facing up for the battery and then positive 
that 510 is going to touch the top of that battery. Just screw that down as well. Okay. And then just adjust the firing switch. And there she blows. And, uh, the, you know, <laughs> the response time is just amazing. Look at that go. That is quite angry. As I said, this is... 8.4 instead of your normal 4.2 volts um, and that's pretty much it so let's fly back up to the top and have a couple of vapes on it and we'll uh, talk about it a little bit more okay so that was a quick look at the j -Bow and Wismec um, noisy cricket what a powerful little unit now as I said this is a series mod mech mod hybrid top cap so do be wary of the RDAs um, that you're putting on there or tanks or anything like that. Make sure that the centre pin is protruding enough. Just make sure that that centre pin is protruding enough for you. Um, you know, always have it that little bit sticking out. You don't want to cause a short, especially with the series mod. Um, I would recommend this for slightly advanced users you do need to know ohm's law when you are messing around with this unit there's you know i would say it is a dangerous unit but don't be deterred from it or anything like that just get the knowledge up to date and you'll be able to use it without having no problem at the moment i've got a, a 0.4 ohm clapton build in here i am using jbo's indestructible as well i found it to be a great you know pair up really a lot of airflow it can really take the power from it now it being in series so usually you'd get what 4.2 volts out of a mod um, and because this is in series it does double up so it would be 8.4 so fire up time is very quick um, make sure you don't go I think their range is 0.6 to 0.25 do not go lower than that. I mean, you can, it's your choice, but I wouldn't recommend it. The vape, it, it's very, a very, very, very hot vape. Um, you don't want to burn yourself for anything like that. Um, but yeah, very simple design. Uh, price point, I think they're roughly between 25 and 35 pounds, depending on actually uh, who you're going to get it from. This was actually uh, purchased from uh, Cheeky Vapes in Tottenham. So again, I'll always leave their link in the description below. Uh, I do a lot of work with uh, Alex down there at Crazy uh, Cheeky Vapes, beg your pardon. And um, yeah, you know, he's got them in stock. Also, the RDA came from him as well. Um, so yeah, just practice, just be safe with this thing. Uh, once you get it right, once you're confident with it, it's a great mod, it really is. Very simple, nothing really to go wrong with it. Uh, this does have the updated fire switch apparently there were a few issues with the first batch but this one i haven't had a problem with at all um so yeah if you are interested check it out i definitely have um always use this always have it in my pocket as a backup mod or as a main mod really and it really does chuck it out the clouds obviously depending on your rda and your build Great pair up. They really do well together, I think. <laughs> it's just tons of clouds. <laughs> um, yeah, so another great mod, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review. As I said, be careful with it, but definitely go and check it out. So, once again, thank you for joining me, and I'll speak to you soon.